Hello guys, welcome to the Need for Excel YouTube channel lesson number 4. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to use the sum and if functions inside of an array formula to do addition based on a certain criteria. So before we start off, let me explain you the nomenclature of our part numbers. The first three characters denote the model number and the last three characters denote the serial number. And the part number will always be six characters in length. So, these are the model numbers. Now what I want, I want the quantity of all the part numbers starting with this particular model. To do this, let's start off with the sum function. Let's input the if function. So this is like telling Excel that I want the sum only if a certain logical test evaluates to a true. So now what is my logical test? So I'll have to somehow find the first three characters of all the part numbers from this array. To do that, I'll use the left function. Now what is my text? So here it's expecting a single entry, but I'm going to give it an array of values. This makes it into an array formula. I'll go ahead and log this cell using uh, the F4 key. Number of characters would be 3 because I'm, I'm trying to extract only the first 3 characters. Equals to this particular cell. I'm going to leave it unlocked because as I copy the formula down, I want this particular entry to move down a cell. So this is a logical test. This is either going to evaluate to a true or a false. Now what do I want if it evaluates to a true? I want the summation of this particular range. I'll go ahead and log this using the F4 key because I don't sorry F4 key because I don't want to uh, move the range down when I write the formula down. And if it's false, I'm gonna leave it false. I'll close the brackets for the if and then for the sum. Now, whenever you want to input a array formula, you have to use it using keystrokes, control, shift, enter. This is how you tell Excel that I want this particular formula to be an array formula. If you go and see the formula, it is wrapped around in curly brackets. This is how Excel tells you that it has understood that this is uh, uh, that you want this to be an array formula. Just to check it, I'll uh, do the total of all the part numbers starting with AAQ model. The total is 142. It matches your total of 142. It means the formula is working. I'll go ahead and drag down the formula. Now, the total quantity in this uh, table is 2598, which is matching with this uh, uh, this table of part numbers. 2598. This means the formula is working fine. Uh, now, there might be some of you who might be thinking, why I didn't choose, uh, why I don't prefer to use the sum if function directly instead of using the sum and if function separately. This is because sum if cannot handle array calculations. That is the reason I chose uh, to use the sum and if function separately. I hope my video helped. Thank you.